Hey, good afternoon, everybody. What's going on? It's Lila Sash Shaver here. Hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. I know it's the beginning of the weekend, but hope it's been a good one. I started mine off by a hockey game with my daughters last night. It was awesome. It was a good time. They're such goofs. So it is Saturday, March the 9th. I was tagged in a two razors at the same time video by Ken at Cal Shaves. Might be one of the last people tagged in this. Uh, but we're going to give us a shot today. I am going to chicken out a little bit. Ken was the man. He dual straight razors at once. Uh, bigger cojones than me for this one. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm actually just going to go, something I've been wanting to see the difference between actually how they shave. People have asked me and I've never really paid attention to it. But my aluminum English tech and my metal English tech. I remember what the exact materials on this one. There's definitely a massive weight difference. Same design, razors. So I'm going to give this a shot. They're both loaded with a fresh Nacet. And they're both from, I think, the 70s. I forgot to check that. So the soap for today we're going to use. It's actually a cream. Don't use it too often. But you got to use some Bombay every now and then, right? So this is an excellent cream. If you don't know much about it, expensive. It's about 32 bucks for 200 mils. What's that, four ounces? I'll put that in here somewhere. Forgot to convert that. Sorry. Um, Bombay actually started quite a long time ago. Well, not too long. 2011. Uh, it's a Belgium company. The owner started it because he's sensitive skin. And basically the product that he liked to use became tough to find. So he made his own. He started with, I believe, an aftershave balm in 2011. And in 2012, he came up with this cream. Uh, I've got some notes up here. Just let me double check that. Yep. It is all natural. Put this up here so you guys can kind of see this. Uh, hopefully it focuses. Yes, I didn't. I'll try to list the ingredients here too. But it's all natural. It feature, features stuff like shea butter, vitamin E, glycerin, carrot oil. It's paraben free. It's very soft. Obviously, it's a cream. That's what it looks like. If I uh, was a much uh, orangish when I first got it, I guess not the carrot oil that's in it. It's kind of faded a bit. Scent wise, is kind of a light scent. Um, on the tub, I'd say probably three and a half, four tops. I'm trying to find the profile notes for this. Can't really find it. Um, what I've been able to find is basically they say it's a fresh and spicy top notes with hints of cedarwood and oak moss. I can see that. I maybe get some a little more floral in it too. Um, not quite sure. Kind of figures with all that description why I'm going to match it with what I'm going to match it with. And we'll talk about that at the end of the post shave here. So... I'm going to do something I haven't done and I don't do too often. Scuttle. And I whipped up everything in here. Might have that a little too wet, but we'll get that going. So I actually showered about an hour and a half ago. Things got busy, so I've just reheated my whiskers, remote hydrated them with a hot towel three times. Mm. So I do have too much moisture in this, darn it. I said I don't do a full bowl lather that often. I usually just use it for warming or loading. If you haven't used Balm B, it's actually a really, really, really nice cream. Um, I don't have a lot of creams left anymore. I have Balm B. Castle Forbes Lime and Taylor Von Bond Street. I think that may be it. I got some more coming in on a giveaway that I just won from Justin the Red Island Shaver. So I'll be able to compare it some more. But I honestly prefer this even more, I think, than Castle Forbes. 
might get shot for saying that. Um, it's a very well-rounded cream. Easy to lather. And as you can tell, always leaves my skin feeling great. And has a good slickness as far as cream goes. I do believe soaps are slicker. Again, personal opinion. So, I'm gonna say that's good. All right, looks pretty good to me. Well, this should be interesting. I've seen a few guys do these shaves now. Um, Josh should shoot the shave. Um, Justin the Red Island Shaver, Distorted Edge with JB, Ken and Cal Shaves, I think Ken Surfs has done this. It's been quite a few, it's gone around. So, we're gonna use the aluminum on the left and the metal on the right. Kids are playing Switch, so you'll probably hear them. Let's see how this goes. I'll pass with the green. across. Oh. It's a little awkward, that's for sure. One second. Oops. They always have to bug me. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. God, I paused it. It was about a 25, 30 minute delay. <laughs> uh, good enough, I guess, reason to get myself some coffee too. Remember, measure excellence perform better. Everything in life. It's more of a lot. Kicking horse 454 there. Great coffee. So let's see how this goes. I don't think this lather will be that warm anymore because it's been just about half an hour. Slickness on Bomb B. I mean, the shell is good. It's like for a cream, I quite enjoy it. I'm uh, not a huge cream guy anymore, but that's a little frothy. Oh well. This does the job, right? Well, the first pass, actually, you probably noticed I did find it very tricky. I can show you with this hand, no problems. But trying to do them both at the same time kind of screwed me up. I should say that. I should have a few problems with this hand. My non dominant. If you check my non dominant hand shave video, you'll see that there was some problems. Okay. Back to this again. Cross the grain this time.
I'm going to say, uh, the two of them, I think I'm finding the lighter razor actually slightly more aggressive. Which is not what I thought I would find out. It's interesting to me. How the heck am I going to do this? <laughs> That's across the green for me. And this one. Trying to stay with all the growth patterns in my hair is not just ghost <laughs> the one direction each time. Which may be the death of me on this. We'll see. You know, by adding just a little water to it, the residual is actually really good. It's against the green here scares me a bit. We're gonna give us a shot. Let's mix this up in here a little bit more. So the heat from the scale. Like I figured, it's pretty much gone after about half an hour. Well, a little longer, it was way more. Almost an hour in total. By the time I made the lather, started this video, take that half, almost half an hour break. It's got to warm up previously to that. So. Just gonna add a little more water to this. Kind of pretty pasty on me here. There. I think that'll be okay. So. <sighs> Can't the grain of this one. Bizarre feeling. <sighs> Great. Whoops. That one. I also be two at the same time. Whatever. Not sure what I think about this. Definitely not as elegant as some of the other videos I've seen.
do need some pickup here. Isn't that what Paul H calls it? Pickup? Pickup time! To me, it's cleanup time. Okay there, actually. Excuse me. Coffee's biting back. Okay, so. acceptable. Sorry, but I can't get two razors in there at once. That's impossible. Okay, I want to get here and here closer. I think the only way I'm going to do that, I still use two separate razors, okay? But it's going to be one at a time right now because I have to blow each side out here. Sounds funny. Clean up in here. I'm not using two separators for that. Sorry. I should have done. I should have rotated in between passes, see how they felt that way. Because I'd say the full steel razor actually felt smoother. Um, but that was in my dominant hand the whole time. So, it can be part of it, right? I'm good with that today. I want to do a straight shave tomorrow, so I don't do this too close. I should get closer there or anything, but it's already the afternoon. This will be fine. I'm going to clean up here. Finish rinsing this off. Warm water, cold water. Clean up my crap. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Quick cleanup, nothing too crazy there. Not the best shave. As you can see, I actually nicked myself right there with the aluminum razor. A little bit there. And it's not my closest shave. Who cares, right? all in fun. So for an aftershave today, I'm going to use Vintage Avon Spice in the um, brush bottle. So I did find this actually new old stock at an antique store. So that's why I don't mind using it. Mm, it's a great scent. Obviously, this would have been Avon's take on Old Spice back then, but it's just awesome. I quite enjoy it. It feels great. Takes one minute. Sorry, they wanted a snack, had to talk to me. Don't know why. Their mom's right upstairs, but I always have to come to dad. <laughs> 
so again, the aftershave splash was Avon's take on, uh, it's called their spice. So their take on Old Spice. And I'm going to do a bomb also today. Uh, it's actually quite nice for winter out here. It's getting closer to spring, obviously. So, but I have to go outside and chisel some ice. I got a leak on my roof, making uh, my sidewalk into my front door a little dangerous here. So we're going to use Highland Springs. Shave Balm, Classic Spice. I love this stuff. It's a great balm. I'll try to put the ingredients up here somewhere. Doesn't take much, guys. This is all I use. Like, that's probably too much. Spreads very well for me. Hmm. Make my skin feel awesome. So, that's it. That was my take on the two razors at one time, same shave, at once challenge. Um, you know, I can't think of anyone who hasn't done this challenge already. Maybe the Shaving Tulsan Timmy Two Shaves. Uh, I'll tag you, buddy, if you've done this cool if not a big deal and maybe uh yost to coast brian yost uh maybe those two guys haven't done it so i'll just say i'll tag them if you have great if you have it no worries just for fun right quick review so we can cut this video short hopefully and sorry for all the interruptions today guys this is my two english techs same handle same design one aluminum one metal from the 70s i believe the brush I actually use, of course, is my old faithful here, AP Shave Co. Uh, full marble handle, the 24 millimeter Simbad. Probably my favorite synthetic I have right now. I did use my Windhorse Pottery um, Scuttle, which is exclusive at Stonefield Shaving. Cream, of course, was Balm B. And as you saw, the post was Avon Spice, Vintage, and Highland Springs classic spice bomb thanks everyone for watching do appreciate your time do appreciate your subscriptions have a great rest of your weekend and i hope to catch you guys next time soon happy shaving